YouTube, <laughs> wow, it's been way too long. And I feel like I have some explaining to do. Just a couple of weeks ago was the Arnold Fitness Expo and I was blessed to be there with Joe's company, Cured Nutrition, and I got to meet so, so many of you guys that watch my channel, that are subscribed to my channel, and so many of you came up to me and you were like, Karen, I watch all your videos and I love your videos and you know, saying that like, I've helped you in some way, shape, or form, or that, you know, just me sharing my journey has resonated with you in some way, shape, or form. A lot of you guys have asked me where, where I've been on YouTube. You guys know, if you watch my channel, that one thing that I've always prided myself on is just keeping it totally fucking real with you guys. And I'm gonna be perfectly real and honest with y'all right now. This hiatus from YouTube was something that I think I needed to do for my own mental health. It's been quite the journey the past couple of months. I've been dealing with some really high stress levels and have been dealing with uh, a lot of anxiety. And if you are a subscriber to my channel, if you've watched my videos, you know that anxiety is something that I've dealt with for my entire life. Um, but over the last couple of months, it had gotten pretty bad. Uh, so bad to the point where sometimes um, I would just feel almost crippled to the point where I really couldn't do the things I normally would do or you know I just didn't feel like myself honestly like there were days where I would just feel exhausted and fatigued and um, just completely not this like energetic happy positive person that I normally am. I just wasn't me. And I really had to dig deep and figure out what was prompting me to feel this way. Um, why was I feeling so anxious? And why was I sort of losing touch with this like inner peace and happiness that I had? And it really came down to my environment to be perfectly honest with you guys. If you're looking around right now and my environment looks a little bit different, uh, it's because I just moved. <laughs> so that's a little life update. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you've al you already know that I moved. I've been living in LA for the past now, almost two years and, and it really just became a place that created a lot of anxiety for me. I don't know exactly what flipped the switch for me there. I started spending a lot of time in San Diego when Joe and I started dating, and I noticed that every single time I would come down to San Diego, I would just feel like I was at peace, and I would feel calm, and I would feel just inspired and just connected to myself. I would just feel more in the moment, have just a more present mindset. Every time I would get back in the car and drive back up to LA, I would just feel myself become more tense and I would feel my anxiety levels just raise through the roof. And it got to the point where I just felt like I couldn't stay there anymore. It was impacting just my mental health, my emotional health. It was impacting my ability to show up powerfully in all of the areas of my life. And I just was losing touch with myself. It ultimately came down to me making the decision to literally break my lease and get the heck out of there. And I've been here in San Diego now. I moved down to San Diego. I've been here for a week and I can honestly say that I am thriving. <laughs> I feel so much happier. I feel like I am just at peace again. Um, I was in the car with Randy Kennedy, one of my very best friends today, and uh, we were just leaving a lift fit shoot and she said to me, I can just tell that you are so happy. Hearing that from my best friend and just seeing that she could just see that happiness just from coming from the inside of me just out just meant the world to me because it truly is how I'm feeling right now. And I really missed this feeling. I missed this feeling of not feeling anxious all the time. I feel inspired here. I feel connected to my purpose and my passion here. I just feel at peace here and I feel like I can be that powerful strong woman that I know that I am because I'm not feeling crippled by 
my anxiety. I moved to LA two years ago and at that time, it was exactly what I needed. I had just come out of a very long relationship in which I will be perfectly honest with you guys, I haven't talked much about here on YouTube, but I completely lost myself in that relationship um, to the point where, you know, even my parents were like, who? Who are you? That's not to say like bad things about this person or about the, that relationship. There, we had some really great times together, but it, I really did like lose the woman that I was and lost sight of who I wanted to be and who I really was and what I wanted to become. After that breakup, I moved to Los Angeles and I really, it really was exactly what I needed in that time of my life. Just reconnected with the woman that I was and that I am still to this day. I stepped back into my power and props to all of you boss babes out there that are powerhouse freaking women too. And just being able to reconnect with that power that I felt inside and just reconnect with myself and my own inner happiness. And I'll always sort of have those feels for LA and it always will, you know, hold a special place in my heart just because of what it did for me at that time in my life. But you know, I think it's important that we always do evaluate our surroundings. And you know, if there's a place in the world that brings you the utmost happiness and brings you the utmost peace and just grounds you. I think that you need to evaluate that and you need to do whatever it takes to be there. So here I am in San Diego, so freaking happy, feeling so blessed to be here. I know some of you guys are probably wondering if Joe and I moved in together. No, we did not. I have my own beautiful, amazing place here. I love it so much. Um, and Oddly enough, Joe is actually moving back to Denver at the end of this month um, for the business, for Cured. So we're gonna be doing the long distance thing for a little bit, but essentially we've sort of already been doing that with me being in LA and him being here in San Diego. We've been about a two and a half hour drive. And now with him being in Denver, we will just be about a two hour flight. So no big deal. And now I have somewhere incredible to visit and I know that he will be back here. So Joe, if you're watching this, get your butt back here. <laughs> and I will be doing an apartment tour for you guys. I can I cannot wait to show you this place. It's just, oh, it's amazing. And once I get it completely set up and completely decorated and everything, um, I will definitely be doing an apartment tour with you guys. Randy's coming down next week and we're gonna go apartment decoration shopping together. So I'm super excited. And most importantly, I am just so grateful for all of you guys that took the time to come up and meet me at the Arnold that have sent me messages on Instagram saying that you missed my videos and you know it just really was everything that Arnold weekend was everything that I needed to sort of like reconnect to why I'm here on YouTube and the reason why is because connecting with you guys truly just brings me so much joy and brings me so much happiness and my passion and my purpose is to, it's to give, it's to serve, it's to provide you guys with value and to be real in doing it. Um, because I think that there's so much shit that's not real in this world. And you know, if one of you guys watching this can relate to something that I'm going through and if it helps you in some way, then I'm doing what I'm here to be doing. And so just thank you to you guys that have stuck with me through all the ups and downs of life and um, have just taken the time to send me a message. I wanna know, what do you guys wanna see? And I feel like the message that I really want to spread widely here on my platform is just the importance of mental health, just the connection between our mental health and our physical health. And you know, we cannot achieve that optimal physical health unless we are working on ourselves from the inside out. That's something I wanna to connect to so much more here with you guys. If that's something that you can resonate with or that you wanna hear more about or that you're interested just in me sharing my own personal journey with, let me know. Give me a thumbs up here on this video, comment below, anything else that you guys wanna see. As you guys know, I've invested my whole entire heart and being into my coaching business. I've 
stepped away from the stage so that I can give my all to the ladies that I work with. And my coaching business is very much mindset based. I'm not in this business to just help them lose five pounds and look good in a bikini. Sure, that's freaking awesome. We all want that, we all deserve that. But you know, I'm in this business of coaching to literally help the women that I work with change their freaking lives from the inside out. And I've just poured my entire heart and my entire soul into helping the women that I work with do that. Seeing them become fulfilled and change their lives and become happier and improve their mindsets and then of course achieve their physical goals and become more confident along the way, that is just that's where I'm at right now and that's just what provides me so much happiness. Will I ever step on stage again? I, you know, I don't know. And uh, I'll never say never, but you know, health from the inside out is my ultimate just goal in life right now for myself and for you guys watching and for every woman that I'm blessed to come in contact with and that I'm blessed to coach. That is my focus. I know this has been a crazy long sit down talk video um, and I just appreciate all of you guys that took the time to sit here and listen to me ramble. It's just what I'm best at. So um, I've got lots of things in the works right now. Right now all I have as far as coaching is my one-on-one -on -one, um, intensive coaching program that you guys just heard me talk about but I want to be able to help and to serve as many of you guys as possible so there's gonna be a lot of content coming out here on YouTube I have some guides coming I have a monthly subscription program coming you guys know I have my fitness app so literally I just want to be able to provide a plethora of resources I want to know what you guys want to see here please 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 comment below just anything anything that comes to mind anything that will help you anything that will guide you that will serve you that will provide you value please let me know any ideas that you have from favorites videos from full days of eatings from more sit down talks from just literally I don't want to put ideas in your head because I want to hear from you guys what you want to see from me and again from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much just for allowing me to feel comfortable just being vulnerable and sharing my struggles here on this platform we're all human we all go through challenges you know I think sometimes with social media we tend to uh, look at other people who seem to be doing well and just we compare ourselves. We don't think that other people struggle or that they're going through challenges. And I just wanna remind you guys that everybody's going through something. So, you know, be kind, support one another, and don't compare yourself to other people's highlight reels because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. Be proud and be grateful for where you are in this moment because it's exactly where you're meant to be and it's teaching you something. And guys, just mental health always. Take care of yourselves. I love you all so much. And I cannot wait to see you again here on this channel. Please remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave me some comments below, subscribe. And I'm gonna outro this video with a few clips that I still had footage from on this camera from an incredible trip that I was blessed to go on with Joe and his family to Belize. So I just wanna include you guys in that. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all so much. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments section below and I'll see y'all very soon.
incredible. It was amazing. But now we're all so cold. <laughs>